Hi everybody, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. And speaking of soulpreneurs, if you guys haven't registered for my Life on Purpose class, I still have that up. I'm going to be wrapping up, closing up registration on that on Saturday. So if you guys haven't gotten yourself registered and you plan on attending that, make sure you get yourself registered. Um, we are going to be doing a deep dive into connecting with your intuition, connecting with your life purpose, using that to create a life that is purposeful and in alignment for you. And um, you can check out all the details right on my website at discoveryawakening.com and just go to the classes tab and I've got that loaded right there. So this is, it's been quite an energy, right? And um, we just have been really going through it, I feel like, and there's been so much going on and so much that we've been trying to juggle and manage and uh, heal from and work through and all of this stuff. Hi, Joy. Um, and so I, I feel like people are just really exhausted, you know? People are in a place where they're feeling like, I just want to give up already you know um, I don't want to fight for this anymore I don't want to work for this anymore I don't want to do this anymore put my energy into this anymore because we're tired not because we don't really want it but because we're tired and so I want to acknowledge that energy because it is it's a lot and it does it makes you want to quit it makes you want to give up it makes you want to let go of things that you don't intend to, or you don't really want to let go of so this is really about yes clear out the things that you need to clear out but if there's something that really means something to you, if there's something that's really important to you, it's time for you to stay the course. You know, you've been knocked down. You've been knocked down. We've been knocked down so many ways from this energy, and um, you know there have been failures, and and we are have struggled. And the point is, it's time to get back up. It's time for you to fight this. This is not about you know, winning in the beginning. This is about having perseverance. This is about continuing to push through. That's where the real reward is. That's where the real benefit is. That's where it feels really good when we accomplish something, right? If something comes easily to us, it just doesn't feel as good. And so something that we've been working on hard and long and putting a lot of energy into, and then we finally get that positive result, that's the most amazing feeling in the world. So the message that I have for you is to keep going. If your soul is still calling for it, if it's still in alignment for you, keep going, keep pushing, keep, you know, take it step by step by step, whatever it is that you're working toward, whatever it is that you're working on, and just take yourself step by step, day by day, get yourself through this energy because it is going to be lightning. Today is the new moon in Sagittarius and this is a beautiful energy and this is a beautiful shift in the energy so we're going to be finding ourselves just really moving into something that's just oh, feels a little bit lighter feels a little bit more positive feels a little bit more uplifting but really you're gonna find yourself needing to really go for it throughout the rest of this 2019 going for it really letting yourself whatever it is that you want in your life, whatever it is that you're working toward, whatever you feel called to work on, I want you to go for it. I want you to push for it. I want you to, well, not push because we want to flow, but, you know, continue to take inspired action in that direction because it's so important that we continue to do that. I, I think we're going to be feeling with this moon, especially as we shift in tomorrow, just like a really rapid shift in this energy, a really rapid change in this energy, a movement into something better, something new, something, you know, lighter. So we just need to hang tight and we just need to get the F back up. You know, we need to like, we've been knocked down. We've been going through a lot, but we have to get back up. We have to keep going because this is where the real reward is in this for us. So I do feel these shifts coming. So we've just got to keep going. And so whatever it is, I want you to think about December and this end of November as that last chance to do the things that you wanted to do in 2019. You know, there's such a beautiful energy that supports that right now. So whatever actions you need to take, whatever you need to wrap up, don't wait until next year. Get it done now. Start to focus on it now. We had a little bit of this energy last year and, and we have this again where it's like, 
take care of what you need to take care of, you know, tie up loose ends, do whatever you need to do because 2020 is going to be a powerful year and the more we can get done now, the more we can get a momentum going in advance, the better. And if you heard me say that last year and you followed that advice, you, you know that I was right about that. I know that you saw the benefits of that. So this year, keep doing it, keep going, really pour yourself into it, and also balance that out, of course, with letting yourself just enjoy the lightness and the holiday season and spending time with friends and family and all of that as well. So let's see, we've got some, hi, Joyce says, I, I think I can. Hi, Erin. Hi, Mike, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, this has been, just a lot and and I really see us lightening up. So I'm going to I'm going to show you the card. So the first card that I pulled is the moon card. Okay? So the moon card is number 1 signifying the moon or, or the new moon that is coming into our life that is creating this beautiful manifestation energy. You know, so this is a great time for you to focus on manifesting, for you to focus on creating a list or a vision board or whatever it is for where you want to be going and where you want the energy move. Put your order in with the universe, I always say. So making sure that you are allowing yourself to do that and taking the time for that. I talked last week in my energy report about making your list of 300 and I've been working on mine. It's like way harder than I even expected, right? But your list of 300 things that you are trying to manifest into your life. And so as you get into it, you'll get going, you'll get going, you'll get going, and then you're going to find yourself stuck and, um, it's a lot of things to list, but I think that what it does is it's really forcing you for an extended period of time to focus on what it is that you want because we oftentimes are so focused on what it is that we don't want, okay? And with this moon energy, the moon energy is very much about bringing things to light, things that we didn't understand, things that were in the darkness before we are starting to notice that there is a light being shown on them. We're starting to understand some things that we didn't before. Things are floating to the surface that we didn't quite get before. And so understand that you're going to be understanding things if you don't understand things already, that pay attention to the insights that are coming through because you are being shown. And also pay attention to dreams at night, information that's coming through in dreams. This might be a time that you are experiencing a lot of dreams and remembering your dreams and all of that stuff. Um, this is also about events behind the scenes that are happening. And again, I, I think that I've pulled the moon card several times lately and that's because we have all this help going on behind the scenes and we're not necessarily seeing a ton of evidence of that right now, but our guides and our angels are very hard at work to make amazing things happen for us and to uh, send us out on a good note for this 2019. So recognize and, and have faith that so much is being done that you don't even recognize. So the next card that we're going to talk about is the Seven of Water Reverse, okay? So this is us feeling like we don't have the answer, feeling like we're confused, like we need to make a decision here, but we're not quite sure where to go. You know the answer. And, and, and that's what I feel called to say. You absolutely know the answer. You absolutely know where you're pulled. And it might not be the easy answer. It might not be the logical answer, but you know the answer. So listen to your soul honor what you're feeling, honor what it's telling you, and go for it. You know, I, I think so many times we allow fear to hold us back, and that's what it feels like here. So don't let fear hold you back. Let yourself go for it. Let yourself move forward. Hi, Jeremy. Um, so that you can, again, create some kind of a momentum as we are wrapping up this year. Here we have the Two of Earth reversed. Um, the Two of Earth reversed is just about us not quite feeling like we're juggling things very well. You know, maybe finances are feeling out of order, maybe life is feeling out of order, and we just don't quite know what's going on here. We don't quite know um, how to balance it. So this is just about like take a little bit of time and really if you can, Take the time to allow yourself to focus on how can I balance this? How can I bring more balance into my life? What do I need? In, whether it's with finances, whether it's work, whether it's personal, whatever it is, how can I bring more balance in? Because we're out of balance right now, okay? And the best advice I can give you based on this card and based on the energy of this card is to find a way to do that in a playful way. Find a way to connect with your inner child, do things that light you up, that make you feel playful, that you have fun doing, that bring out that inner child because that's the quickest way to connect with this balancing energy that we all are needing right now. Then we have the Awakening card, okay? So the Awakening card is all about 
looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe we're waking up, maybe we're recognizing changes that we need to make, things that we need to do. Maybe we're finding some clarity on things. Maybe we're understanding things that have been confusing for us for a very long time. And we are starting and beginning to understand it. This combined with the moon card is really saying to me, again, there is a light being shown on the path, what we need to do, uh, what, what choice we need to make, all of this stuff. So we just need to pay attention to what we're being shown, okay? Um, this is also about just beginning to try to look at things from a different perspective okay so if you've been really focused on for example seeing things from your own perspective and maybe have a conflict with somebody really consider what things are like from their perspective where they're coming from what they're feeling what they have going on or um, if you are trying to figure out a solution try to look at it in a different way try, try to approach it in a totally different way than you have before because this is where the answers can come and then we have the dreamer card which is very in alignment with me saying to you that we need to go for it we need to like jump on some of this stuff right now as quickly as we can some of this stuff that is are, are in alignment with the callings of our soul we need to follow those dreams that we have. We need to make those leaps of faith if it feels like the right time. This is a perfect time for you to go for it. Even if you're scared, even if you don't know how, go for it anyway. So that is a beautiful card. I love the dreamer card. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck. And then we have the hermit card finally, okay? So maybe this week is going to be a lot. We have Thanksgiving going on and, and we have all of that stuff. So maybe just by the end of the week you're going to need a little bit more time to mellow and balance and take space and be in your own energy and so you really are encouraged to do that because i think that some important insights are going to come through that process and this really is this week is about self-discovery as well so i think that you're going to be finding that you're going to be understanding some things about yourself and maybe about the world with this awakening card or other people a lot more as you be, allow yourself to just begin to explore this stuff. So one more uh, card that I pulled for you from my fairy deck, we have the miracle healing card, okay? So with this energy that we have going on right now, expect healing, expect physical healing, expect emotional healing, expect psychological healing, expect spiritual healing, and all you have to do is invite it in. All you have to do is ask for it. All you have to do is put your order in with the universe. And again, in this new moon, it is a perfect time for us to be able to do that. So those are your messages for this week. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. And if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. I love to hear from you in comments below, whether you're watching live or on the replay. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you can get notifications for any and all videos that I'm uploading here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Take care.